Alex. Jim, so pleased to meet you. Congratulations on the film. It's fantastic. Thank you. Um, what, what, was, what was it? Now, you go back a long way with this because you narrated the audio book in the first place. Yeah, yeah. So what was it like slipping back into the skin of Harold Fry? It's very easy. I was lucky. I mean, I was very, very glad to have read the audio book. So when the script arrived, I barely had to read it. I knew I'd be doing it. I knew I'd do it because I knew it so well. I knew it had been adapted by Rachel herself. So it would be true to the book, you know, so it was a, it was a no brainer, it was, it was, it was, it was yeah, a delight. Easy choice. <laughs> yeah, easy choice. And what was it like building the chemistry with Penelope, Maureen in the film? Because obviously you spend so much, so much of it apart and, yeah. and the relationship evolves quite a lot. Yeah, I mean, the, it's all in the writing really and we started, we did it, you know, in uh, in the chronological order, so we started at the beginning, and and it's all in the writing of this you know, rather arid, sterile relationship. So that started us off, and that's what we, and it, it grew organically because we, you know, we didn't have to, didn't have to do any particular research or background on it. It's there, it's in, in the in the script, and then we, we work in the same way. We got on so brilliantly that it was a, it was all. All easy and delightful. And you get to cover a lot of ground in the UK as well. I did get to cover Would you go anywhere new or anywhere particularly memorable that you hadn't seen in a way before? I love getting, uh, towards the end, getting up on the Northumberland Moors. And that was in the, in the wild weather. I, I love that. And, uh, particularly after being in sort of some of the, the, you know, the uh, industrial bits in Yorkshire and those, those sort of areas. And then to get up on the moors and... Uh, in the rain, and that was. Uh, oh, that's, that, this is good. I enjoyed that. And how do you think the character of Harold is going to communicate to a, a younger audience? Because he's he's very uh, post-war parenting generation type yeah. thing, but in, in many ways the regrets and the hopes. Are, uh, yeah, the hope. Um, I hope they'll, um, in some way, <laughs> identify. I don't know. Identify him. Identify him. You know, so recognize him and. Uh, in uh, their you know, parents, grandparents, generations, you know, how he, how he is and, and maybe understand some of the, the problems that older people have in one way or another, you know, and maybe learn to get how important it is to share and be kind to each other, all that. But I don't know if it'll really reach that audience or not, but I hope so. Definitely. Well, I understand a lot of them now have to study in schools and colleges. So, um, oh, really? Yes. So, um, so I think you'll, you'll find that they'll be using the film. They'll have to be. They'll have to go. And, <laughs> and just quickly, which are we more likely to see first? You, you as uh, Mr. Gru Mr. Gruber in Paddington Three, or a possible reappearance in the Harry Potter series? Now it's on TV. I, I, I would have think it. Um, Gruber would be the favourite on that one. I think I don't know the Harry Potter the series. Well, they're talking uh, about they're, TV. They're, they're talking TV now. So. Yeah, they're, they're, I think they'll have brand new casts for that. I think well, you would have been fantastic. But I would <laughs> very much hope to see. I'll be open for here. anything. <laughs> awesome. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching. Hey, you guys. Hey, hey you guys. <laughs> hey, you guys. <laughs> Hey, that's what they all say. Hey, you guys! Hey, you guys!